there are people suffering out there, dying from the hateful plague. And this is what you choose to do with your time? Look, and you will see a storm-battered city drowning in an ocean of blood, no longer able to keep her head above the cresting waves. A savage pestilence has ravaged the land. Can't you see I am standing here sick with worry? That should be enough to stop you now. Then why, why should you be worried? Even if I am shown to be the son of a slave, going back three generations, it will never taint your birth Even so, or the I'm color of your you blood. Even so, I'm asking you to do as I say. Please be done with it. There is nothing you could say that would stop me from uncovering the truth. This is because you are not listening to what I'm trying to say. I'm only thinking of you. That much is true, but you know nothing of the truth since you are blind in your ears, blind in your eyes, blind in your mind. Yeah, how sad. All of these insulting words will soon be spoken about you by your own people. It's all a scam. The play, where do you start? You know, there's so many parallels. Whereas the doctor's getting them in the hospital, I'm going into their homes. And you see a life full. And then you see them as their life is leaving them. It's a blessing to bear witness sometimes, to be there. If, if nothing else, if I can't save them, at least I'm there to bear witness. But now I appear as an aberration. You know, I'm covered in a mask and all they see is the eyes. I got the, everything else is covered and it almost looks like a ghost. And it takes away the humanity of it. I have to keep a distance from these people and the humanity of touch of, of even in the play, at the end, there was one person who was still Oedipus. Why did you do this? I don't want to think of Oedipus as a sympathetic character, but he, he, he is. I am stained, polluted, profaned. I am filthy. I am a virus, a deadly infection spreading. I am wretched. I have cursed myself, it seems, without knowing. But if you are who he says you are, know that you were born to suffer more than any man before or after. Oh God, oh God, it stings, it stings, the place where the pins went in. Where did you find the strength to cut yourself off from the light, ripping out your own eyes? What vicious God took hold of you and forced you to do it? Does anyone hear my voice? Or is it lost in the wind? Oh.